Hey guys, episode 51 of Digimon Adventure 2020 has landed and and it was a fun episode indeed. Don't forget to check out my Patreon that is appearing on screen as well. Uh, as well as the link for it is in the video description down below as well. Don't forget, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way and don't forget to press the bell. But without further ado, let's crack down to the intro and crack down to the review, shall we? Digimon Adventure episode 51 landed and it was a very interesting chapter uh, chapter episode indeed uh, in the wake of 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 what happened last week. Last week was I would now officially class as the end of the Millennial Mon arc, the darkness arc of Digimon Adventure. Now Tai, Chi and Ko are, were just about to do a relax about the whole um, uh, defeating of Millennium Mon and everything like that until Koshiro got a call from Garbemon about information at this data tree. Uh, this data tree that's filled with knowledge and information of research for across all the expanding all the way back to the beginning of when the digital world was created. Created, and we got introduced to Wisemon here. And Wisemon explains about the crest and this greater darkness that is about, or greater catastrophe about to begin. And this greater catastrophe, they don't know what it is yet, or anything like that. But it continues on linking to the crest and the chosen children. So Millennium Mon was at the darkness, and yet we get to explain all the things that link the human world and all those things. Catastrophes that link the human world to the digital world that happened. If you remember those right near the beginning of the series and stuff like that. Those, uh, this is like, th this great catastrophe could somewhat be linked to that in a way as well. And, and let's just say it continues on like that. And it, to a point, shows that can it be done everywhere so after this weird digimon shows up called burpmon who what who wants to just eat data that was eating data all across the world tree and everything like that to the point where it wanted to eat the crests these crests the crests similar to before but slightly different definitely appeared like they did originally in the original series but more like stone tablets or to stone slabs with the crest logos on and each or, and each chosen children were looking at, or Digidestin was all looking around, uh, standing in front of their, each of their own crest uh, slab, and it all starts to glow. And it it was recording all the their adventures and days they had together uh, or had so far, and it just shows how much it is growing and links to everything. So. I'm now curious about what the whole idea of the Crest storyline is going to be in this series for stars. Because obviously the Crest storyline in the original was the kids find their crests and they unlock their super evolutions, their ultimate forms, forms back there. Now I'm questioning is, are they going to be doing this for the rest? Because obviously we saw... The crest activate for the bonds of friendship. We saw the crest activate for courage between Yamato and Taichi. And hope and light for Hikari and Takaru. So are the crests going to be linked to the link to their mega evolutions? Because obviously next week's episode is definitely going to be an interesting one for sure. With... All the mega evolution of Hohomon being introduced. So that's that's another interesting thing that I'm curious about myself. But other than that, it does make me wonder what's going to happen in the near future. What's going to happen with the crest and what this great catastrophe could be. But yes, yeah, so after that, they defeated Burtmon and everything like that. And it just uh, rounds up onto, onto them restoring the day. And then arrows pointed up. Pointing coming out of their digivices showing wherever they are meant to go. So 
But uh, Joe and uh, Gomar taking Hikari and Takaru to the hot springs that they were at uh, at before, just so they can rejuvenate uh, Tailmon and Patamon because they couldn't digivolve in this episode. So, like my theory thought, they exerted too much strength or too much energy and too much data to uh, be able to digivolve again or anything after the battle against Millennium Mon. Mon. So they're going off there and uh, and everybody else is going to be following their compass of wherever they're pointing because it might be linking to the great catastrophe that that is showing in this episode. But other than that, this episode was definitely a fun episode. Definitely much more of a information episode. Definitely much more of an information dump for what's going to be happening next in this series because so far... We are pa we are pretty much past uh, what the original series was. The original series was 51 episodes, and we're at that mark. So if you wanted to end the series here with the Millennium on defeat and everything, you could do. You could end the series here, and they've done it. They've done everything. But the story is still continuing because there's a new catastrophe coming in and there's more mystery behind their crests that they had since the beginning of the series because they're all linked to it this time around. But other than that, this episode was definitely a fun episode. I definitely like the little information about the crests and everything. Next week's episode definitely going to look a bit more information as well. It's definitely going to look it be much more linking to the crest of love that next week because by the looks of things, we're going to get introduced to Ho Ho Mon. Or Phoenix Mon, uh, Mon next week, and and I am definitely curious if my theory is correct. If the crests are going to be linking to the Mega Evolutions, we're hopefully we're going to finally see the rest of the Mega Evolutions of everybody else next week as well. But other than that, comment down below what you liked and didn't like about this episode down in the comment sections down below. It'd be very great, great at that as well. But other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya. Another great episode, I think, again, guys, definitely a much more inform informative episode about the crest, about the next catastrophe, what's going to be happening as well, and and my thoughts and theory on the crests this time around going to be linked to their mega evolutions. Lucians, that'd be really interesting as well. Other than that, that it was definitely a fun episode. Don't forget to check out my affiliate links. They are You can find them down in the video description down below and everything like that and don't forget to check out my patreon it's appearing on the screen as well and you can also find the link down in the video description down below now if you're a returning subscriber don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here don't forget to press the subscribe button press the bell then click all to keep up to date with all my notifications and all my videos for the foreseeable future future but other than that i'll see you next time bye, -bye for now later and don't forget to check out my uh, previous video and uh, my playlists as well that are appearing on the end card here but other than that see you next time bye